Former President Trump back in New Jersey this morning after pleading not guilty on federal charges. Trump was arrested and arraigned in Miami. Um, this was on Tuesday. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington now. And Bree, how did the former president react to his most recent day in court? Good morning, Ben. Sarah, a defiant former President Trump delivered remarks from his New Jersey golf club. He did not use the speech to deny having the classified documents and did not deny the obstruction of justice charges against him. Former President Trump addressed supporters after entering a not guilty plea in federal court. This day will go down in infamy. Prosecutors allege that Trump mishandled and schemed to hold on to classified documents. He faces 37 felony counts. Charging a former president of the United States under the Espionage Act of 1917. The historic arraignment drew crowds of opponents and supporters. Freedom for Trump! Freedom for Trump! Hello, everybody. During a quick stop at a Cuban restaurant, some sang happy birthday to the former president, happy birthday. who turned 77 today. Others sang his praises outside the federal courthouse. He could run from his jail cell. If he does, he still will win. On the campaign trail, his former running mate turned 2024 challenger Mike Pence is among those raising concerns. I can't defend what's alleged. These are serious allegations. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell avoided questions about Trump's indictment and says he wants to stay out of the 2024 race. I'm not going to start commenting on the various candidates we have running for president. There are a lot of them. It's going to be interesting to watch. People across the world are watching and waiting to see how the legal cases against the now twice indicted former president play out. And Judge Eileen Cannon, a Trump appointed judge, has been assigned to oversee the trial. In Washington, Bree Jackson, Wake Up Charlotte.